Hello, Sandra. Uh, I just want to go over. So we were looking for this little tabby thing, and I found it. So here is your website. Notice that this style is just a little bit different, you know, because you got the blue letters, and she's kind of got these golden letters and a different font and stuff like that. So if you want that, let me know. I'll give it to you. But this is the way it looks for now, and you, you can see that you can insert pictures into the tab, which you had a problem with before. And then you can, you know, have your tools, materials, cut list. And so how do you do it? Well, it's a lot easier than it was last time. So <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and start from add new post. I'm going to call this test two. Test two. And then we go down here like we're going to do any other th old thing. And uh, <clears throat> see this little thing here? Tab short code. All you do is click it. And it's going to give a uh, easy responsive tab short code. It's going to put all of them in there. If you want your tabs on the top or the bottom, you can select that. Tabs align to the left, or do you want them align to the right or to the center? Okay, so we'll leave them on the left. Uh, you do not want to tab with pills. These kind of like make the tabs look like a little pill, like a pill thing at the top. You don't like that. Uh, but you do want to make it responsive so that you know it'll float up and down. Like if you have content in there. You know, it'll keep your content to the bottom of the tab. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then if you have, uh, you know, drop down text, you want more or continue. And these are the number of tabs that you want. So right now we have, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, the materials, cut list, uh, oh, what the heck else? Tools and the overview. So if you want to stick with just four tabs, there you go. Okay, now you can change the, the tab color and everything, but uh, you know, I, I wouldn't worry about any of this. Just leave it all blank and it'll take after your CSS, uh, your current CSS, and it'll be styled according to what your blog is styled at. So, click insert. Now you're going to see these little things here, okay? Uh, this is tab number one. Inside the quotes, all you have to do is put something like, like materials. Um, let's see. I know I'm screwing this all up, but objective, okay? Uh, this is the title for the tab number three, tools. Uh, I don't know, time. So <clears throat> anyway, it says tab for tab one content goes here. So all you'll do is highlight that, type something, put a period. If you want to add media, all you have to do is click add and so maybe we'll add this board here, insert into post. You'll see it'll put it right there. Then you can type more, just like that. And then we'll go to tab two. Tab two content goes here. And then uh, this is uh, some more info. Okay. And tab three content goes here. Let's see, one, hammer, two, nails, three, screws, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, so then uh, time. We're just going to put this. This is going to take forever. All right. So... You have have all those just like that. I'm just going to click Save Draft so I can show you what we did there. And uh, we'll click View Post. And so here we have we have our little tabs that you wanted. So and stuff with the picture in it too. So <clears throat> this is exactly what she has here um, on her blog. That's what, what you were asking for. And so uh, we'll go ahead and just oh, Google's not going to respond. This is exactly what she has. So I, I actually looked at the code. So anyway, uh, if you want this style a little bit different, let me know. But uh, there's your tabs. Okay, thanks. Bye.